Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone is doing good. I am Vignesh and I'll walk you through the console of Cloud BigQuery. In the previous video, we understood what is Cloud BigQuery and in this, I'll navigate to Cloud BigQuery inside console. So without any further delay, let's get started. So I am inside the console. You can get into console by typing console.cloud.google.com. In the next video, I'll explain you how to set up a free trial Google Cloud platform and also I'll explain you how to set up a BigQuery sandbox environment. We will discuss further in that video like what is BigQuery sandbox and what its real importance and features. So you can just click on this navigation menu, go to solutions under all products under analytics you will be able to find this BigQuery which is a data warehouse or data analytics platform you can just click on this BigQuery and you will see the BigQuery homepage so this is how BigQuery homepage will look like and here in this analysis migration and administration purpose so as I mentioned in the previous video BigQuery is mainly used for three purpose one is for analysis doing analytics and the next one is migration like getting data in and out and finally for administration purpose as a data analyst or as a data engineer, we will be spending more time on this analysis part that is inside this BigQuery studio. So this is where you will write your SQL queries or you will write your Python scripts or even better like you can write even your PySpark scripts and next to that BigQuery studio, here you can see the data transfer like BigQuery data transfer. So we will be using this service to get data from various sources, let's say from cloud storage or from other cloud providers into cloud BigQuery. This service is mainly used inside Cloud BigQuery only and next to this we have scheduled queries where you will be able to schedule your SQL queries using this particular service. So as part of this playlist, we will be spending more time on BigQuery Studio, data transfer and scheduled queries. Like these services we will be covering as part of another playlist from Cloud and AI Analytics channel. So now going back to BigQuery Studio. So this is what the SQL and BigQuery GCP learning is the project ID. Inside project ID, you will be able to create data sets and inside data set, you will be able to create tables like partition tables or cluster tables or even normal tables also will be able to create and then that is where you will be able to store the actual data and inside that you will be able to create views, materialized views, partition tables, clustered tables, both partition and clustered tables where you will be able to run your queries like basically SQL queries, DML, DDL and lots of windows or create functions and we have specific function. So we'll be exploring all those things as part of this playlist. So now I'll just create one data set. So you can just click on this three dots, click on this create data set, give your data set name like I'll give demo data set underscore 007 and you can choose your data set to be region or multi-region like external data set, all the details. We will be exploring all these things in the upcoming videos in this playlist. For now, I'll just click on this create data set. So if you just click on this demo data set, here you can find all the data set in details. Data set ID, when it got created, default table expiry, loss modified, you will be able to find all the details. And then if you want, you can create table. You can share this particular data set like to a particular user or to a particular group also you'll be able to share. And if you want, you can copy, delete it or refresh it as well. So for now, I'll just create. So just click on this create table, create table from cloud storage bucket. You can upload. There are various other options as well. For now, I'll just click on this upload option and then click on this browse. So I've just selected one CSV file that is employees.csv. That file format is CSV and the other supported file formats are JSON, new delimited JSON, Avro file format, Parquet, ORC. For now, we're like this is the project ID, data set ID, and the table name will give it as demo table underscore seventy. So the table type will be native, and we will just click on this auto detect schema. Even if you wanted, you can edit it as a text, or else even if you want, you can add it as a field also. For now, like we'll just skip that step, and we will select this auto detect schema and partitioning, clustering, the same tags, advanced options. I'll be explaining these details in the upcoming videos of this section. So I'll just skip it and just click on this create table. So this all the options are very important. When you're worrying about the cost, when you wanted to control the cost, then these options, other options, right, they play a very vital role. So we will explore those in depth. So the table has been created. You can just click on this table and here you will find all the details, like schemas of this, and the details like table ID, creator, loss modified. So how many rows are there? What are the total logical bytes, active logical bytes? 
and if you want you can preview the table the best option is to preview the table and understand what are the different types of data we are dealing with so this is the best option instead of querying it like basically people tend to write that select star right so instead of doing that you can just preview it and get to know more about the data so employee id first name last name email phone number so as part of cloud bigquery itself you will be able to do table exploration like understand the unique distant values you can, you can find all the details here for example you can just click on the select fields and just click on this first name you can just click save and here you will be able to find all the different unique names present so the same you can do it for other values as well this is table explore still it is in preview option the next one is insights like this is basically for data flex or data catalog lineage data profile and the quality of the data you will be able to identify as part of this cloud bigquery so this is all about how to create data set how to create table from console but there are various other options like you can use bq command line tool you can use client libraries even you can use rest apis also to create it now we will explore other options if you see you can just click on the summary and here you will be able to find the summary of this particular table demo underscore table underscore 17 and here you can even star it as well if you star you will be able to use this option like ideally in real time we will be working on many projects or many data sets many tables so this option would help you there so i'll just go back to the original one and here you can see you can just click on this add option this is where you will be able to explore public data set if you just click on this add you can find like a local file cloud storage external data resources so this is where you will be able to create data lake so ideally data lake means big lake in google cloud platform is a combination of cloud storage and cloud bigquery so you'll be able to create big lake using this particular external options only and next one here you can see public data set so here this one so if you just click on this public data set you will be able to see all the different public data sets available inside google cloud platform that is where you will be able to add public data set and that is where you will be able to create external data connections and moving on to the next one like job history so inside cloud bigquery you will be able to see jobs at your personal side and also at the project side so you will be able to filter out on both the things and moving on to the next one so this is where like you can write queries like uh, from this particular table demo table so here you can see this is the syntax which cloud bigquery follows first one is project id the next one is data set id and the third one is table name so project id also it is not mandatory but it is recommended to use but data set id and table name is very mandatory without mentioning this you will be not able to uh, extract or you will be not able to view the data from your queries like query itself will throw you an error so if you want you can save it like for now i'll just give select star and if you want you can save your query save query as a view also so if you save query you will be able to find this under this option queries for example i'll just save one query so i'll just give demo and let it be in us central one itself if you just click on the save you will be able to find that under this queries here you can see demo so the moment if you uh, select the sql query right you will be able to see this query will process 2.69 kb so based on this uh, the byte scan only we will be charged when using cloud bigquery so once you exit you will be able to find the result of this particular sql query so employee id first time like top 10 records and if you want you can sort also based on ascending descending also you will be able to do it and here you can find this job information so basically this is the job id and who is the user location creation time start time you can find all the details and all the sql queries basically it is cached so for 24 hours you will be able to catch the results and those results will be saved in this temporary table so if you want you can explicitly mention your temporary table name also that is also possible but default if you are not like google cloud itself will create a temporary table and it will assign some random name to it like this is basically a uuid results and the next one is json so all the details you will be able to get it in the form of json syntax as well execution details so these things we will be explore in detail and the execution graph as well so the next point is if you want to save the results you can save it to your csv google drive or csv like to your local machine as well that is supported till 10 mb with google drive it can support up to 1 gigabytes json file bigquery table itself so these are the various options where you will be able to store the data 
and finally explore data you can explore it with sheets looker studio python notebook explore with data canvas as well so if you want you can download the sql as well if you just click on this download you will be able to find this demo.sql file and you will be able to share this sql queries basically this particular uh, sql query right you will be able to share it as well manage permissions and even you can generate as a link and can share it with your teams and the next one is schedule option and the next one is more options so under this like you can just click on this format sql queries sql autocomplete that is like uh, with gemini a a tool for google cloud platform so with this you will be able to auto complete as well query settings so moving back to the home window from jan 27 2025 like gemini will be available inside cloud bigquery at no cost bigquery has three editions so one is standard edition the next one is enterprise edition and the third one is enterprise plus edition as well so gemini a will be part of BigQuery Enterprise Plus Edition. So SQL queries, if you want, you can create notebooks as well. Python notebooks, data canvas, data preparation, workflows, and these are the recently opened. And the next one is, this is a quick start. You can just go through it and you will be able to add your own data from your local machines, from your Google Drive and from cloud storage bucket as well. And one important thing, which I already mentioned, but if you just click on this one drop down, you'll be able to write SQL queries using the SQL queries. Python notebook to write your Python script, data canvas and PySpark procedure. You'll be able to write your PySpark script also here. So with BigQuery, you can work on various different use cases. For example, if you wanted to work with machine learning use cases, yeah, BigQuery is there. If you, and the next one is if you wanted to generate reports, dashboards, or if you wanted to connect with data visualization tools like Looker Studio, QuickLink, we will get lot of releases on cloud BigQuery. So if you want to find out, you can just go here and just click on this release notes so here you can see you will be able to find a lot of different releases whatever google cloud is uploading right you will be able to find all the latest features ads on on this particular notes so i highly recommend everyone to create a free trial and navigate to all the different options inside cloud bigquery so if you have any questions please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply to it as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and AI analytics. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, it's bye from Viknesh. Happy learning.